Cardinal Canizares regrets that many Catholics have stopped going to Mass because they consider it an external imposition. Instead, the Pope insists on the contrary and says that the Eucharist is the Church's most precious treasure. If that faith is not lived in its true form and the depth it requires, the Eucharist loses the meaning it's meant to have, so it's left aside very easily. From the beginning of his pontificate, Benedict XVI has dedicated numerous speeches on the importance of having the Eucharist at the center of Christian life. Cardinal Canizares is reminding people that the love of God is felt in Mass. Communion with God leads us to communion and unity with all of humanity, which is the reconciliation we are offered to truly have a reconciled world that lives in peace. To help appreciate the Eucharist, the Congregation for the Divine Worship has prepared Compendium Eucharisticum, the first book that includes the main documents related to the Eucharist. The volume gathers Catholic doctrine on the Eucharist, text, prayers, and chants to help priests, religious, and lay people grow deeper in the Eucharist. We attend Holy Mass and immediately it begins without any preparation, or we end the Mass and immediately leave without that moment of reflection, silence, or deep thought of what we have lived there in that moment. The presentation of this volume reminds people that the Church builds on the Eucharist and it's an essential part of living a coherent Christian life. That's why the Church is asking that communion be had at least once a year. A Church has life if it has the Eucharist at its center. If it loses the true sense, if that community does not have all aspects of the Eucharist present, it will begin to languish and it will not offer anything that the world needs. That's why Cardinal Antonio Canizares warns that the Eucharist cannot become only an obligation because it's something that lies at the center of Christian faith. He hopes this book will help millions of Catholics in growing closer to the sacrament.